hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i will briefly discuss about stationary wave in air column and the stationary wave in air column can be done in two types of pipes one is known as open in from both ends and in this air molecules are free to move so the in case of a pipe which is both ends are open so the anti nodes are present at the corner point of the pipe which is open at both ends and the nodes are present in the central point so in this case the scenario is that when the pipe is open at both ends the anode and uh, nodes are produced but in the other case when this one one end of the pipe is closed and other end of the pipe is open the air molecule are restricted to move so they uh, after interacting with the uh, surface of the closed and they move back so stationary wave produce in this uh, pipe which is open from one end and closed for other end so nodes and anti nodes are pr produced from here furthermore i will discuss about the case when the pipe is open on both ends in this case we are dealing with mode 1 so and nodes are produced in the center and anti nodes are produced on the corner point because air molecules are free to move so if we find out the distance of the total wave wave produce so from the center we will generalize that length one is the uh, lambda by four because it's the fourth portion of the wavelength and l2 is also lambda by four which is also fourth portion of the wave total wavelength so if we calculate the total uh, length of the wave produce which will be lambda by four plus lambda by four so we will take lcm in this case so lcm will be four because it is same point 4 LCM and lambda plus lambda will be the solution. So if we find out the total value of the length, so it will be 2 lambda by 4 or lambda by 2. In, in this form of wavelength, the length of the pipe is equal to lambda by 2. Because the half, it means half of the wavelength produced in the uh, pipe which is closed. Because we are dealing with mode 1, so it is length is equal to L, L is equal to lambda 1 by 2. According to formula, uh, we know that v is equal to f into lambda so we will put the value of lambda 1 because we are dealing with mode 1 so v is equal to f lambda or f1 into lambda 1 so uh, in in order to find out or in order to calculate the value of frequency because we need to calculate the frequency in the pipe of the mode 1 and we will calculate the frequency of the pipe will mode 2 so here f is equal to v over lambda and we know the value of v v will be same and lambda value uh, value of lambda can be uh, written in this context or in this expression will be f1 is equal to v over 2l so we can uh, we can generalize this one or we can write in the form of expression 1 f1 is equal to v over 2l similarly we can find out the value of second uh, mode value of frequency for second mode in which we will consider that uh, when the frequency or when the wave is produced in the pipe which is open and from both sides so the nodes and nodes are produced nodes and anti nodes are produced so in this uh, peak point anti nodes are present which is denoted at a and the central point which is denoted as node so total five points are produced three anti nodes and two nodes if we find out the total value of this wave so we will cut uh, in order to understand this this small length is equal to lambda by 4 and this length is lambda by 2 because it's a half of the wavelength and this is also a lambda by 4 because it's a fourth portion of the wavelength so in order to calculate the total length the total length can be calculated by adding all the terms so lambda by 4 plus lambda by 2 plus lambda by 4 the total value of the wavelength in the form of length can be length of, length of the pipe can be produced or length of the column can be produced so uh, after adding we will take lcm of this term so lcm will be 4 because it's a least common uh, multiple and 4 uh, lcm plus lambda plus 2 lambda plus lambda will be the answer and total is 4 lambda over 4 the final answer it means total length of the pipe or column is equal to one wavelength it means one wavelength is produced in the mode 2 because we are dealing with mode 2 the frequency and wavelength will also be uh, in the form of two subscript so l is equal to lambda 2 we can write it 
we know the formula of uh, free wave uh, velocity with respect to frequency and wavelength so v is equal to f2 into lambda 2 in order to calculate the value of frequency because we are dealing with frequency frequency is equal to v over lambda 2 so we will put the value of lambda 2 in this expression which is l so it will be v over l frequency of second mode is f2 is equal to v over this is l so this is expression for the frequency of mode 2 so we know the frequency or expression of frequency for mode 1 which is v over 2l and here v over l so we can find out the relationship between uh, primary frequency or fundamental frequency with respect to mode frequency of second mode so which is which will be calculated from this expression f1 is equal to v over 2l and f2 is equal to v over l so the final expression from this expression is that 2 is extra term so that if we separate this value of 1 over 2 and separate the value of 1 over l from this expression so we can find out the value of frequency with respect to another frequency so f1 is equal to 1 over 2 will be remain same and v over, v over l can be, can be replaced by f2 so it will be f1 is equal to 1 over 2 f2 or if we, we can also find out the value of f2 from our easiness f2 is equal to 2 into f1 so this is the expression obtained in order to calculate or in order to understand the mode frequency of for mode 2 and mode 1 similarly for the value of n is equal to 1 2 3 number of modes so f3 will be 3 f1 f4 is equal to 4 f1 and fn is equal to n f1 we, we can simply put the value of n from 1 2 3 4 and so on and we can also find out the value of final frequency of any term or any number <coughs> in addition uh, there is another case uh, which which can be discussed further in which uh, the column of is closed for one side and uh, open for other side we will discuss this uh, lecture in the next lecture or next video if you want to learn more videos you can contact me at my email address and because uh, next lecture will also be interesting and if you have more question you can contact me at my email address email address is shown in here and if you are interested to more lectures you can comment you can come out in the comment box and we will upload more lecture with new information related to your exams and interest and we will see you in the next video bye bye